Nancy Grace, I want to thank you for being with us. Bombshell tonight, live, Florida. Since starting her police training, a gorgeous young police cadet never misses a single class until now. Just days before graduating from St. Pete's Elite Police Academy, young cadet Kelly Rothwell vanishes seemingly into thin air. In a bizarre twist, we learn tonight that her live-in, a former corrections officer, cop, moves out of the condo they shared and drives home to New York, from Florida to New York, within 72 hours after she goes missing. Also tonight, grainy surveillance video emerges showing her getting dinner less than 24 hours before she vanishes. We have the video. This is one of the last known images of Kelly Rothwell, seen on surveillance video, leaving a public supermarket with her best friend. Just weeks away from realizing her dream of becoming a police officer, 35-year-old Kelly Rothwell is missing. Kelly explaining she was getting ready to have a talk with her longtime boyfriend, Dave Perry. She had plans to break up with Dave. Ken Williamson lives in Kelly's same building. He and his wife heard unusual noises coming from Kelly's condo above. Thumping and banging on the ceiling. Police say they've attempted to interview Kelly's boyfriend, 45-year-old David Perry, a retired corrections officer. But he's left the state of Florida. Responding deputies kicked in the door of Unit 201. They didn't find anyone right away, but later found David Perry had just left for New York. We've had some contact with him. However, he's been uh, uncooperative. Family and friends of Kelly Rothwell believe the worst. We are taking your calls live out to Peter Bernard, joining us from CNN affiliate WFLA there in Pinellas County, Florida. Peter, I know that her condo was searched. What, if anything, did they find? Well, when they got in there, they didn't find any evidence of a fight or any blood or anything like that. So that's truly a mystery. They had to break down the door to get inside. And you saw the uh, damage on the door in the video you just showed us. So they used some kind of a battering ram. But once inside, normal. It looked absolutely normal. Did they find a vacuum cleaner, Peter Bernard? I don't know that. When I did this story, there was no mention of a vacuum cleaner. I know this piece you just uh, showed, they talked about some vacuuming going on. I understand his son lives nearby and had been taking care of the condo when the owners weren't there. So I understand that he had come by, but I understand also that the forensic team had been there before he got there to do any kind of cleanup. Well, what I'm talking about is the neighbor, the downstairs neighbor, Here's a series of loud thuds around the time Kelly disappears. Everyone just joining us, a, a gorgeous young Florida police recruit, never misses a single classic police academy. Just before she graduates, she goes missing. With us, the neighbor who heard that series of thuds, she and her husband home at the time of the thuds, followed by vacuuming upstairs. I'm gonna go straight out, and we are all taking your calls live to Ken Williamson, Kelly's downstairs neighbor, joining us from Tampa, Florida. Mr. Williamson, thank you for being with us. Your wife was inside. What did she hear? Uh, <clears throat> Mary and my wife was inside at the time. It's probably around, oh, sometime around 4 o'clock on the 12th. And she heard a series of loud thuds up above uh, the ceiling where our bedroom is directly below their master bedroom. And somebody, like, threw something heavy on the floor three or four times and then it got real quiet and in a short time after that uh we heard dave up there vacuuming mr williamson i, I know this sound, may sound like a zany question but when you moved into your condo were the floors hardwood or carpeted carpeted uh, the because of the the building uh code and, and uh, the condo docks you couldn't have a hard surface floor on the second floor, but you could have it on the first floor. Our first floor is all ceramic tile. But on the second floor where Kelly's unit was, it's all carpeting. Well, the reason I'm asking, Mr. Williamson, is because you know, sometimes you can tell, you could probably tell the difference if, say, um, a table fell over or a hard surface strikes a hard surface, as opposed to a sack of potatoes falling. Sounds more like a thud as opposed to a crack. How well, did your you wife know, describe you know, the sound ahead, she heard? Ahead, 
How did your wife describe the sound that she heard? She described the sound as if something heavy was hitting the floor. Um, and that might be interpreted as uh, if somebody was jumping maybe off of a bed onto the floor or uh, somebody threw maybe like, uh, say, a suitcase that might be full of clothes or something on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely not, not footprints or not, you know, foot traffic that you heard up there. It was, you know, you could tell that it was something that was substantial weight before when it was hit the, when it hit the floor. With us is Kelly's downstairs neighbor. This is Ken Williams and joining us from Tampa. I, I know that your wife is fully cooperated. She had a, a medical procedure today. She couldn't be with us tonight, but she told you exactly what she heard. Now you were outside, I think, washing your car. Well, I was outside washing the car and, I, and, and when I came upstairs, I heard uh, maybe out of the four bangs, I heard two of them. And uh, Mary said uh, to me, she says, uh, there's something going on there. She says, I don't know what's wrong, but it doesn't sound right. And I said, well, knowing Dave uh, and, and the, the way he has a violent temper and he never comes to the door when you, ask, you, know, when you, when you go up there to make contact with him and they won't answer their phone or anything like that, um, I said, well, I, you know, I'm reluctant to go up to ask Dave if I can help him out if anything is wrong. And when the and when the sound ceased and he started vacuuming, we just thought sort I of said, all right, uh, you know, just ignore it rather than have a problem with him. It isn't worth it. Uh, we'll just you know let things go the way they were. You and know, Mr. Williamson, um, having lived in New York for so many years since way back in '97, I mean, you hear things at other people's apartments all the time, and exactly. I'm listening. I'm listening to what you're saying, and out of all the years I've lived in New York surrounded by people i mean i've never heard from any of my neighbors something where i said hey something's well, wrong they, i gotta admit that, that dave and kelly were quiet when they were up above us i mean some tenants we've had in there they're heavy footed you can hear them walking around up there but dave and kelly were very quiet in that respect which we much we very much appreciated so when you hear something like this an unusual sound up there coming from a unit that normally doesn't have unusual sound, you begin to wonder what happened or what was going on or what caused them to have that sound up there. And I also noticed you said we didn't want any trouble with Dave, the, the live-in. Why, right. had, had there been any trouble with him in the past? Yeah, I've had two run-ins with Dave uh, um, in the past. One of them necessitated that I have the police come out here to try to resolve the situation. And the other one, I had to have the fire marshal up to resolve the situation. We are talking about Kelly Rothwell. Where is Kelly? A gorgeous young police recruit just about to graduate from St. Pete's Elite Police Academy. Misses class and then goes missing entirely tonight. Where is Kelly Rothwell? Kelly was training to become a police officer. But now... 35-year-old Kelly Rothwell is missing. Boyfriend David Perry. He had a very, very bad temper. Police say the boyfriend won't talk to investigators at all. 